Coventry City manager Mark Robbins has drafted in Chelsea in England under-19 fullback Duhon Sterling on a season-long loan. But it's not the first time the Sky Blues boss has looked after such a highly rated talent, having enjoyed the services of England World Cup star Kieran Tripper a few years back. Trippier spent a season on loan with Robbins when he was manager of then-championship Barnsley in 2010-11, before switching to Burnley and then being snapped up by his current club, Tottenham Hotspur and breaking into the senior England squad. Now 27, Trippier has been one of Gareth Southgate's best performers in Russia, helping the Three Lions beat Colombia in a tense penalty shootout on Tuesday night to book England's place in the quarter-finals against Sweden. England's Kieran Trippier celebrates after his side win the penalty shootout during the FIFA World Cup 2018 round of 16 match at the Spartak Stadium, Moscow. Reflecting on his time with the hugely talented England right back, the city boss said, it was a success, first and foremost, because Kieran was and is a top player. You could see at 18-19 that he was destined for really big things. I was desperate to sign him on a permanent deal but couldn't manage to get that done. I came out of Barnsley after that year he played for me. But he played 36 games and scored two or three goals. His free kick taking was outstanding and delivery into the penalty area unbelievable and we survived relegation, which was something we were battling against year on year. But we seemed to get further and further away from that relegation trapdoor which was a decent achievement, and he was a part of it, and a key part of it. Gail Bigaramana gets a straight red card at the Rico after a two-footed challenge on Kieran Trippier during his time with Burnley Robbins has overhauled his Sky Blues fullback department this summer, drafting in Junior Brown and looking to sign Brandon Mason subject to a successful trial spell to replace Ryan Haynes and Chris Stokes at left back, while bringing in Sterling to push established right back Jack Grimmer. Fullbacks are very important, said Robbins, so Duhon coming in here should give him a platform to go and perform and develop his skill set. Also, Jack knows that there's some competition there so if anyone dips under then there are other people there to take his place. As well as that, it gives me different options. The pressing items that need to be resolved by Robbins before the season kicks off on August 4th sorting out the surplus Ryan Haynes has already gone, switching to Shrewsbury Town, and fellow left-back Chris Stokes appears to be heading to Barry as Robbins looks to balance the books after drafting in two new fullbacks, Junior Brown from Shrewsbury Town and Brendan Mason, who has agreed terms subject to a successful trial following his release from Premier League Watford. Watford's Brandon Mason is on trial with the Sky Blues striker Stuart Even and forward Peter Vincenti also appear to be surplus to requirement after slipping out of favour under Robbins last season, and both players and the club will want to resolve the situation. Both have another year left on their contracts and will surely want to get out and play elsewhere rather than sit in the stands at the Rico on a Saturday afternoon. Coventry City boss Mark Robbins takes trialist as he looks for signing number 9 get Tom Bayless signed up highly rated teenager Tom Bayless has been offered a new deal and indicated that he wants to sign it. The Sky Blues former under-18 skipper burst into the first team picture last December, scoring within minutes of his debut, and remained virtually ever-present for the rest of City's promotion winning campaign. Stuart Feven in pre-season training Bayless was subject to a failed bid by Championship Derby County in the January transfer window and, although he still has two years left on his current deal, the club are keen to get him tied down to a new and improved contract. Sort Mark McNulty, S. Future This is Robins' biggest concern and a major worry for the fans ahead of the new League One campaign. The club's 28-goal star striker from last season has been the subject of three failed bids from Championship Reading already and so far declined to sign a new contract. McNulty is contracted to City for another two years and supporters face a tense few weeks until the end of the summer transfer window wondering whether a club will meet the Sky Blues asking price, believed to be in the region of £2 million. Mark McNulty and Jordan Ponticelli in pre-season training If that does happen then Robbins will have to act quickly to move for a ready-made replacement.
Mark McNulty update his Coventry City report back for pre-season training give Jordan Ponticelli time to press a claim after making 26 appearances, including just 5 starts, and scoring 6 goals the 19-year-old striker will be looking to prove he's ready for more first-team football this season. As supporters saw when former academy graduate Callum Wilson was thrown into the deep end by Stephen Presley, some players thrive on the challenge. Ponticelli will have no doubt returned fitter, stronger and even more determined than ever to prove he can be a fully-fledged first-teamer and the preseason will determine how close he is to the starting lineup come August 4. Break injured players in Abu Ogogo, Junior Brown, Tony Andreu and Doty Jones are all in various stages of rehabilitation following their respective knee ligament injuries, Ogogo returning from less serious medial knee ligament damage while the other three are coming back from cruciate tears. Abu Ogogo has added hot competition in midfield Ogogo, Brown and Andreu will need to be broken in gently, building up their match minutes during the course of the friendly schedule while Jones is a little further away from a return, not expected to be available to play until September. Run the rule over the youngsters The preseason provides an ideal opportunity to run the rule over the club's development players and see who is ready to step up to the first team. City have boosted their development squad with the arrival of the likes of centre-back Morgan Williams and midfielders Bubosma and Zane Westbrook, while existing under-23s like Callum Maycock, Reese Ford and Jordan Thompson will be looking to show that they are ready for men's football, whether that be out on loan or pushing the seniors above them. Country City confirm signing number 8 winning starts City kick off their pre-season schedule with a trip to non-league Sutton United this weekend and while it will be more about fitness and getting minutes in the legs of players than the result, Robbins will want a bright start to help develop the feel-good factor he's already begun to build among fans on the back of the promotion winning campaign, culminating with a brilliant victory at Wembley in the playoff final. Nothing is won or lost in the preseason, but good results and a few goals can go a long way to building and maintaining valuable momentum ahead of the new season when Robins will be keen to set City's stall out early with points on the board, starting at home to Scunthorpe United on August 4. Bonding exercise The squad head off to Spain on Sunday and Robins will be looking for his new signings to really bed in and get to know the rest of their teammates. will, no doubt, be a grueling schedule of training and a single game on the tour but also an opportunity for the players and staff to enjoy some downtime in the evenings and build a rapport and really get to know age. Mark Robbins is hoping for big things from Chelsea right back Duhon Sterling the video from Chelsea, Starla Duhon Sterling that will make Coventry City fans smile work out his strongest 11 with the likes of Jody. Jones not expected to be fit for the start of the season, Mark Robbins may well not have his side at full strength until the second or third month of the new League One campaign. But what he does have is hot competition for every position on the park, having added real strength in depth in the transfer window. There will once again be four excellent center halves battling for the two available spots while there are also new faces at right and left back. Competition in midfield has also gone up a notch with the arrival of Shrewsbury Town skipper Abu Ogogo just when we thought Michael Doyle and Liam Kelly were bolt-on starters.